Hello there. Are you using VTube Studio and a Stream Deck? What if I told you you could do this? Or this? Or even this? All in a single press of a button. <laughs> so, if you want to learn how to do that, be sure to leave a like and a subscribe. And uh, do that while I try to flip myself back. Okay, here we go. Oh. Ha. So yeah, welcome to episode 1 of Rough Tech Support. So, oh, Rough Tech Support because, you know, my name is... Uh, Rough and you know, um, rough tech support. Get it? Okay, whatever. Okay, moving on. First, what you want to do is open up your stream deck and click on this button and search for VTube Studio. So, what you want to do is first install the VTube Studio plugin. So, I've already installed it. So, you want to install it and now. You can see the VTube Studio trigger hotkey. So what you want to do is drag this over here. And now you want to make sure that the it says VTS is connected over here. If it's not connected, then uh, you probably fucked up somewhere and I can't really help you. So uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. So what you want to do first is go to your VTube Studio, click on settings. Go to the settings menu and make sure over here, make sure it's start API, make sure this is started. So once this is started, you should be able to see that the VTS has been connected on your Stream Deck app. Now I'm gonna assume that you already have most of your expressions set up. So things like uh, changing of your expressions on your VTube model should be already set up. So what you can do is after dragging the hotkey in, you can basically select your model. So this is my small model. And then I can choose for example, a T-Pose. So T-Pose, there we have it. Oh. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. So you can basically set up all your hotkeys this way without using any of like your F12, F11 keys. You know, you basically don't have to use those anymore. You can basically set up all your expression hotkeys like that. What you probably want to do is the zoom, right? So you want to know how to move your character like that. So what you can do is go into your VTube studio. So Let's say you want to move, I want to have a position like that, you know, with a zoom, with a super zoom like that, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to create a new, a new expression. Let's call it something like super zoom, right? I can't type. <laughs> so hotkey action, what you want to do is move model and then record your position. That's it. Now we go back to our stream deck, click on the refresh button, and then you can see super zoom. So once you click on this, it should move you like that. <laughs> All right, now we're getting to the main part. We're getting to the main part. This is why you guys are here. And as you can see, you, you, you can see I already set this up, which is a uh, rotate, you know, the rotate button. So you can do this. <laughs> it's pretty fun. So what you can do is search for multi actions. So multi action, drag and drop into it. So you will want to delay. So let's drop the delay in first. And then you will want a VTube search for VTube Studio and then there's a move model as you can see over here. What you want to do is drag and drop the move model over. So go to the options tab, click on move models are relative. Duration, click on one second and now rotate. So the for rotate, you can only rotate for 180 degrees at a time. Anything more than 180 degrees, it doesn't work. So I've done a bit of testing around this. It doesn't work if you add more than 180 degrees into this um, rotate, right? So for so what you want to do is move model. You want to duplicate this. And then after a delay of 100 milliseconds, and then you move your model 180 degrees again. So you can go ham and add as many um, 
rotations as you want in one button and as a man just make sure you have a delay for each of the each of the buttons for the move models for the rotate you know so you can add as many as you want <laughs> all right let's try this out i i have no idea if this will work here we go ah 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 <laughs> So you do want to reset. You do want a button that can reset your movement. So that's how you do it. So basically, it's still pretty scuff way to do it. But if you know of a better way, please do leave a comment on how you think um, I should do this. But this is probably the best way I can think of, of how to do this uh, rotating thing at the moment. At the moment. So yeah, that's about it. See you guys on the next one. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.